there's something that um, some parents do complain about, if not most parents anyway. You know, some will say, my child is this, she, he, she's so troublesome, she troubles so much, she gives me headache, she runs here and there, she doesn't sit in the place, she doesn't listen, she doesn't do this, that, 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 that. Hmm. Hello, I need to be more though. I'm coming to my universe. <laughs> I'm sure they say to her, go on and allow us to give her to a child that would look like an imbecile. Because no more a child <laughs> you call that's what you call them child children a child can't sit in a place you ask a child to sit in a place and you expect the child to sit in a place when the child is not an imbecile when the child is 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 not um like say mentally stable a sound child a child that is healthy sound in all ramifications should be playing around moving around honestly should be playing around their children that's why we call them children it is when they get to the age of accountability that when you ask them to do something they don't do it then you can start scolding them i don't mean that you don't talk to them or you shouldn't scold them or anything no because at that stage to at that age to they listen they hear they understand but it's not the one of you trying to break a coconut with your head complaining that they don't listen or they're running around if they don't run around who will is it you that is the adult that should be running around that is why they are, they are kids for kind of loud one of my dickens um, wife who said that uh, okay there was a time what happened in my church one time i guess yeah that was my second child yes so um she told me that she wanted to ease herself and i took her to the restroom to ease herself and um before you know what is i just told her please wait let me also make it at the restaurant. I will be right back. That was how my daughter, oh yeah. <laughs> she started running around everywhere, you know. I, I, I came out and I, I shouted, and I shouted at her, if I get you there, you will. Yeah, my dickens were like, what? Gift, if I hear that again, what is your problem? Do you, do you, do you think she's an imbecile? That you be shouting at her like because she's running. If she does not run, who be? Are you going to be running around? <laughs> I'm not running around. So since then, like the way she edu educated me, spoke with me, talked with me, like they are children. It doesn't mean that you won't talk to them. You talk to them gently. I had the same time in the back of your mind that this are case. They will run around. They will make a mess. They will do things that you 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 don't want them to do or don't believe they will do. But they will do because they are kids. So whenever you are doing it, just try, you know, find a way to, you know, make it the balance. Is a child that, has, that is an imbecile that you will tell to sit in a place and you will go to uh, a co market or whatever and come back and send me that child there. God will not allow to have children that cannot work or crippled children. Because if that child is crippled, even if the child is crippled and the child is active and healthy, you will still see that child using his or her knee to crawl every other places. So please, we won't have an imbecile children. Please, I beg of you all, know how you treat your children. Children will always be children. Children will always be children, no matter what you say, no matter how you do or what you do or how you train them or treat them. Just treat them mildly. Follow them with understanding. Thank you so much for stopping by again. I remain your girl, gift and it don't go. Thank you for my for my subscribers and returning subscribers. Thank you for stopping by. I love you all for what you're doing. Thank you for getting me to 1,000. <laughs> I love you all.